Once while we had the truck running over at our shop, we had the coolant sensor fail on us once. And it was Jack's decision that he wanted to replace that anyway. So while I'm here at Volvo, I've actually asked them to do it for us. Uh, they're going to, they've replaced the sensor underneath the tank and what they're also going to do is a, a pressure test to make sure we don't have any leaks. Something did come to light while they were looking at the coolant system. They found that the cap was suspect. You can see that it's kind of been pushed down unevenly. Let's see if I can turn this and you can see it. But it's not perfectly level all the way around. It looks like the cap has been pushed down and indented a little bit. So they're going to replace that cap to make sure we have a good seal. So you say this is a different program we're going to go into. It's a Bendix controller. So Mitchell's gone on to the Bendix application. And we're going to see, this is for the ABS. So this one's still open because it hasn't driven. But now we have both additional axle wheel speed sensors active and the additional uh, pressure modulator valve circuits open, which is absolutely fine. Uh, that's what we wanted. So basically, this is the whole diagram of what we have here. You've got your front wheels, you've got your rear wheels, and axles, and modulator valves, everything's in there. So what I want to do is we want to get rid of this, everything because we're running it off the second axle Bendix right now. Yep, everything's being run off of yep. this modulator valve and the air and the ABS sensors and everything there. So... so we're in the Bendix program right now and what we're contacting Bendix for is to get a new program. We want to get a program that has just the single rear axle. Right now we don't have it loaded in this computer right now so we're contacting them to get the uh, program that's necessary for just a single rear. So right now, this wire here, put out from this plug, this is just your speed sensor plug. This from the axle? Yeah, on from the side of the axle. Uh, you'll have another one on your right side. All you want to do is you want to find your second axle speed sensor harness and you want to plug it in. And we have our other speed sensor harnesses here. There's one here, and there's also one right down there. Yeah, right down here. And so these would be for your third axle. So you want to leave these alone. You can take them off, or you can just seal them off so they don't get any corrosion inside them. And start shorting out themselves. And uh, yeah, basically you just want to hook your speed sensors into your second axle. Uh, harness. So they're pretty easy to get confused because they're the same they look length. Exactly the same. Right? Actually, the other ones are a little bit longer. Look at that. It's just how so they're even, all wound up. Even further confusing. Yeah. All right. Because originally this axle was further forward, so these, where they come out of the harness, have to go backwards, and these ones are going to be way to go. So we're right around here. So, Mitchell, do you want to mention that you also deleted the uh, temperature yeah, as well. Yeah, um, to delete the temp the, uh, sorry, the axle temperature, uh, you have to go into your VCAS program, the parameter program, and in there you can, uh, under vehicle information display, you can change that parameter and actually delete your axle temperature. All right. So, steps are key on. Programs are very finicky from time to time. Oh.
I hope Volvo doesn't use windows yeah. for their root operating system, do they? <laughs> I hope not. Where's control alt delete on the Volvo? <laughs> Born breaking gas all at the same time. Oh, is it? No. <laughs> the vehicle just restarts itself. Hope everybody got that. Horn, brake, and gas at the same time. It does a reboot. Okay, so the key is I wanted to document just the version of software that we're using as well. So this is the Bendix 6.4 software. We've had success with it. So go ahead, Mitchell. You want to mention the process you went through? Okay, so this is just, you know, like, uh, like Greg said here, it's your uh, Bendix Acom 6.4 diagnostics. Uh, you want to pick your proper. Um, Bendix ECU that you're going to have. You're probably going to have an EC60. Uh, I don't know if it works on any other modules. We haven't tested that yet, but uh, we know it works on the EC60. So we can start with the ECU. And we'll just load up here and make sure it's connecting with the module. So we'll pop up with this screen. Initially, what you're going to have is a, it's going to be a little bit different. You're going to have three lamps here. We're going to have your ABS, your ESP, and your uh, trailer ABS. So, and if you look right here, it says 4S, 4F. And now we've modified that to this vehicle now that we only have two axles instead of three. Because it was uh, the six. Yeah, when you have three axles, it'll say 6S, 6F. Um, so, in order to get this, get to where we are now, I have to go to, actually, first off, you have to go to DTCs. And this is how we found out where everything was plugged into. Uh, previously, we have had uh, your, our rear, so our third axle speed sensors plugged into their harness, but you can't drop your second axle, you can only drop the rear one. So what we've had to do is unplug the sensors from the harness and plug the third axle speed sensors into the harness for the second axle. So that in that way, it, the, the module thinks that it has a second axle but no third axle. And you can verify that by going to your DTCs and making sure that your uh, third axle wheel speed sensors are open. So we've already done that, we've got everything hooked up properly. You'll also have codes for your uh, third axle pressure modulator valves. You're supposed to have that because they're not there. Uh, and then you go to controller configuration. Just let it load up here. Once it's loaded up, uh, you'll see that it'll, it'll look a little bit different back here. You'll have uh, two separate ones, one going to your second axle and one going to your third axle. Uh, right here, since we've modified it already, it's just one. It's just one line goes to both of them. So, what you have to do in this case is once you have all of your wheel speed sensor set up properly. You'll have, once again, your 6X, 6M here. You'll have another value down here for your additional axle. What you'll have to do is go to self-configuration. Once you click on that, your Bendix module will recognize everything that's in your setup, and it will configure itself to the 4S, 4M setup, which is only a two axle set of what we have, like what, what we have here. You have your steer axle and your drive axle and that's it. Um, and then to verify that you can check your DTCs once again. Uh, make sure that you don't have any DTCs. And of course they were clear after we did this. Yep, there's no DTCs left. And uh, you can also go to modify and just make sure that you know you only have your steer axle and your drive axle on both of these. It should leave everything as far as yaw rate, uh, your steering angle sensor, everything else here intact. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Mitchell. No thanks problem. for your expertise today, and uh, thanks to Volvo Nortrucks. Try this up. You should be on your way.